<laughs> Omnipotent. Omniscient. Sovereign. <laughs> Immutable. How sweet it is to be a god. Hey guys, welcome back to my Morrow and Overhaul version 3.0 playthrough. It's a bit rainy outside and so you might hear some thunder if it gets really bad. Those are just the perils of recording in a tropical country. Anyway, my name is Zach and we're here back with Mr. Shirtless himself and we're gonna figure out what we're gonna be doing next. So, I'm here to discuss my orders. We need an Ashlander informant. I've heard of a fellow in Aldrun named Hasur Zain Subani, an Ashlander who left the waste to become a wealthy trader. They say the Ashlanders like to give and receive presents. Take these hundred drakes, find out what Zain Subani likes and get him a gift. Then give him the gift and see if he will tell you about the Ashlanders and the Nerverine cult. Then report back to me. Okay, so... Ald Ruin uh, from Balmor on foot. Take the road north to Caldera. Exit Caldera. Uh, though Ald Ruin is nearly due north as the race of flies. The road swings far to the west to avoid ash wastes. Curving around the last of these. Okay, this is a bit confusing. It's a long trip through desolate lands and easy to get lost if you leave the road. Uh, pay for the Silt Strider. Probably much better to pay for the Silt Strider. Anyway, we're looking for this guy, Hasu Zain Subani. Um, what was that? Uh, try the Aldscar Inn. That's a more respectable place than the Rat in the Pot or the Count or the Council Club. Uh, the Council Club is just as bad as Rat in the Pot. Okay, so let's take the Silt Strider. He, it's in Aldrun, but I'm not sure if that's on my map. I'm. Uh, I don't think you could take a Silt Strider to Caldera. Maybe you can. I'm not hundred percent sure. Well, let's wait for the outside to load anyway. Come on, the first load to the outside world is always a bit long. But I tend to save indoors for that reason. Uh, beautiful night sky. Under sun and sky, Outlander, we greet you warmly. Yes, exactly. Now, let's just move over this way to the Silt Strider and see where we can take a ride to. Okay, here we go, Mr. Siltstrider. Where can we travel to? Can we get to Aldrun? Yes, we can. Okay, perfect. Let's travel all the way to Aldrun. 18 gold pieces. That's some pocket change. And here we go. I don't remember Aldrun, actually. We make a special here we go. Just for you. Same low price. Oh. <laughs> Navam Veran, you're a little bit close to where I spawn. Um... Here we are in Aldrun, and it looks like we're kind of in the wastes, aren't we? Yes, well, let's have a look down here. We're looking for the Aldrun Inn, if I recall correctly. Let's have a quick look around and see where that is. A bit strange for you to be standing out here. Please. Guild of Mages, ah, that's why. Um, is that the Fighter's Guild? That is... Looks like an apothecary, a potion store. Rat in the pot. <laughs> oh, that's what it... Oh, that's as... Oh, it's a rat in a pot. I see. Uh, but that's not where we're looking for. We're looking for the inn. The guards here look a little... Oh, Redoran. That's one of those main houses. Oh, okay. That's probably the big council house. Now... These are all shops, are they? Well, that might be an inn. Let's have a look. Ah, this looks good. Uh, some shops here. This is the general merchant. Looks like the smith. And that looks like a magic shop and a bookshop. And this would be the, the main building, is it? The manor district. Would the inn be in the manor district? Let's see. Oh wait, no, there it is. Alskar Inn. Where am I? I'm here. It's just to the right. Back here. I think. Yes, it should be over this way. Okay, it's just over here. Am I behind it? Is this it? Let's have a quick look around this corner. 
And this is the council club, which is another bad place to be. But there we go. Aldscar Inn. Now, what is the name of the guy? Hasso Zain Subani. So he should be in here. Let's hope he actually is. Don't want to spend too much time walking around. Okay. Are you Hasso? No. Are you? No. You? No. Juju? Yes. No. Friends about this place. Um, let's check downstairs then. This is a nice place actually. I can see why it's a bit more reputable than the rat in a pot. Shashev? No. How about you? Are you no Fathusa? Perhaps I should ask around. Because I don't seem to see him down here. He's not in any of these rooms. Ooh, there's a suspicious looking book though. Red Book of Riddles. Ashland Hymns. No, none of these seem to be valuable enough. Okay, let's ask around then. Maybe the barkeep Outlander. knows Speak where Hasur is. Or maybe you do. Um, I'm looking for someone in particular. No. Oh, Hasur Zainzubani. Okay. The trader. He'll be downstairs reading or in the back room below the bar. Oh, okay. So he is downstairs reading or in the back room below the bar. Back room... Really? Asur Zainzuman? Dan says reading back room below the bar. What is this about? I don't see him read. Ooh, gold. And a sword. Is this good? No, I think mine's better. Ten gold? Nah, I'm not gonna risk it. Where is Hasur? Oh! <laughs> I was blind. Would you look at that? There's this another set of stairs right here, which leads below the bar. Ah, here we go. That's not him. Oh, That's not know. him. This is probably him. Uh, prominently I placed in the center of your field of view. Hello, Mr. Hasso Zain Subani. Uh, I do have business with you. I see. I wish to learn of the Ashlanders. And what is it that I wish to learn? Gift giving? <laughs> <laughs> what are their gift-giving customs? A curious question. A gift is a sign of courtesy among strangers and affection among friends. Among strangers, a thoughtful gift is a sign that you are cautious and considerate and aware of the other's wants and needs. Such is particularly useful for traders and travelers. Among friends, it is a private thing and subtle with great risks for the test of gift is how a tailored receiver. Okay. A thoughtful gift. Yes, a gift that shows you have taken care of something for the receiver. For example, I love poetry. No stranger could be expected to know this, but a book of poetry given to me by a stranger shows the giver respects me. A book of poetry. That sounds familiar. A book of poetry. Now, I'm not sure how honest this gift will be considering he's already told me what he likes, but I'm pretty sure I saw a couple books down here and... One of these. Red Book of Riddles? Does this count as poetry? What's my journal say? I uh, mentioned he loves poetry. Then a book of poetry would be a perfect gift for him. Perhaps a bookseller merchant or a pawn shop nearby may have such a thing. I don't know. This looks like poetry. I wonder if I can take this. Well, there goes the guard. Let's try it. Red Book of Riddles? Seem okay? And this also, the five far stars. This looks like a book of poetry. Let's try, grab this. Make sure no one's watching. I'm gonna take that. What's in the chest? Provinces of Tamriel, the eastern provinces, words of the wind. Well, these all look like poetry books. Don't tell me these are, <laughs> this must be uh, all of his books. Well, let's, um. Let's see if he wants some of his own books back. Uh, perhaps he will like it. Let's find out. So good to see you. Now, business, a thoughtful gift. Ah, he took the five far stars. This is a gift for me, a copy of the five far stars. Noble words of noble warriors. I gratefully accept this gift. My people have never loved the written 
word, and I lament their ignorant scorn for such common yet potent magic. I thank you, and I honor your courtesy. It would please me to return your courtesy by answering your questions. What would you wish to know about the Ashlanders and the Nerevarine cult? There we go. There is too much to tell. Here, take these notes. I've written what you should know about the Ashlanders and the Nerevarine cult. Most of all, if you're visiting a camp, there are things you should know about courtesies and challenges among the Ashlanders. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Ashlanders and foreigners. You know, okay, if you guys want to read all this, you can pause the video and have a look. Uh, yes, the Nerevarine cult worships a whole bunch of weird-looking names. Okay, so that should be... Uh, the notes I need. Let's have a quick look. Zane Subani's notes. Uh, it's quite long. Um, I'm gonna just kind of skim through this. The Ashlanders, direct descendants of the Altmeri people. Oh, the Altmeri people, okay. Uh, follow the prophet Veloth. Temple and great houses. Uh, Ashlanders and foreigners. Uh -huh. Ashlander courtesy. Tribal chiefs, wise woman. Ashlander challenges, challenge for sport. It's acceptable to decline, okay, good. Challenge for honor, it's shameful to decline, okay. These, this information might come in handy when I actually go to some Ashlander camps. Ah, uh, okay. The great Ashkan and Hortator, Nereva, Moon and Star. Ah, uh, okay. Dagoth Ur. Skepticism. Urshilaku Ashlanders. Okay, there you go. If you wanted to read all that, you can have a look at that. And that should be it for now. I should head back to Balmora and report back to Caius Corsairs with these notes. So let me just head on over to the Silt Strider. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Love the sun over some hills. And these light rays really make the game. Oh, Cliff Racer, let's not get into some useless fight with a Cliff Racer. There's actually an Imperial Fort over there. Is that on the map? That's this way. Have I been there? Buckmouth. No, I haven't been there, of course not. If you have been wondering why some places look like they've been explored without me going there, it's because my brother helped me level up. Leveling up in this game took way too long and I just don't have time to do it. So my brother played the game for a bit and got me a ton of gold and leveled up my stuff. So here we are back at the Sil Stride up this little precarious ramp actually. If you were to build something like this, people would just die all the time from falling off. Well, hello, the sun is Why up. Why walk when you can ride? Precisely. Let's travel back to Balmora, 19 gold pieces. This you guy doesn't like me a bit more. Just for you. Same old pride. <laughs> then this guy, he likes this guy likes me a bit more. That's why it's cheaper. Well, we're back in Balmora. Let's head down this way over back to Caius's place. That suspicious woman is on top of Caius's house again. I wonder if she's someone important or this is just a coincidence. She keeps hanging around up there. Anyway, let's head back into Caius's like house. Very good company. Yes, Mr. Shirtless. We are back with our report. Thanks for your report, but keep Zion Subani's notes on the Ashlanders. You'll need them. I'm promoting you and sending you to the Urshilaku camp. Oh, to speak with Sul, Matul, and Nibani Meisa. But before you go, I think it may be time to tell you what's going on. That might be a good idea. The Emperor and his advisors think you have the appearance of meeting the conditions of the Nerevarine prophecies. That's why you are pulled off uh, prison on his majesty's authority and sent to me so you could satisfy the conditions of the Nerevarine prophecies and become the Nerevarine. Yeah, this is a decoded copy of the coded package you gave me when you arrived. Read it later, it should explain everything. As you'll see in the decoded message, the emperor and his counselors say you have the appearance of satisfying. Uh huh, do you really satisfy the prophecy? Are you really the prophesied Nerevarine? Nerevarine. At first, I thought we were just supposed to create the, persu the persuasive imposter. Now I don't know what to think, but I am sure of one thing. This is not just a primitive superstition, and we will treat it seriously, just as his majesty commands. So, Zain Subani says Sulmatul and Nibani Maesa at Urshilaku camp are the heads of the Nerevarine cult, so I'm sending you to speak with them. Tell them your story, and have them test you against the Nerevarine prophecies. 
as heads of the Nervine cult, you can best judge satisfy prophecies when you've spoken with them. Report back to me. Two hundred Drakes, uh, pick up essential supplies at Fort Moonmouth. And I got the decoded package. Let's have a quick look at the decoded package. Where is it? There we go. Spy Master Caius Corsades, Knight Errant of the Imperial Order of Blades, Director of Imperial Intelligence in Vardenfell District, Eastern Provinces. Uh, honor to acquaint you with Majesty's wishes concerning a ha. Huh? Order of the Blades, particular wishes are as follows Local Superstition, Nervarine, Lord Indoril Nerva, Appearance, Prophecy, Seriousness, uh, Earliest Occasion, Gather Information. Obedient servant Glabrio Belen Belenus, personal secretary to the Emperor. So yes, that was a short and easy mission. I'm this so this will be a short video, but I think I'll upload this in its own part anyway. So this is gonna be the end of this video. We've prepped ourselves to head over to an Ashlander camp. And that's it for now. Say bye to Mr. No Shirt and really horrible looking pants as well. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video.